Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of PyTest, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to use this attribute known as auto use attribute in PyTest fixture. So let's get started. How to create this PyTest fixture and how to use it has been already covered in the previous sessions. Now in this session, I'm going to cover how to use this attribute known as auto use inside this PyTest fixture and what is advantage of using it inside the PyTest fixture. So let's get started. So this is how we have to use auto use attribute in a PyTest fixture. Okay. So you write this uh, at the rate pytest.fixture before a method, right? That you want to convert into a fixture in your uh, Py PyTest. So in that fixture, in the circular brackets, you specify this attribute known as auto use is equal to true. What will happen if you specify this attribute in the fixture? I'll cover in this session, okay? I'll switch to this PyCharm ID where we have this sample Python files, okay? There are three sample Python files uh, as an example in this project, which contain some individual test methods. Right. And in each and every test method, we specified the name of the fixture. You see, in each and every test method of this Python files, I provided the name of the fixture that is set up and DR down. Where is fixture available? Where is this fixture uh, method having this name available in the conflict.py file I created in the previous session? You remember, right? So you see, this is a fixture which contains some setup and tear down code. And this setup code will run before every test method in this Python files. And this tear down code, which is coming after the yield keyword will run after each and every test method of this Python files. But how it is running? Because in each and individual test methods, we specify the name of the fixture. You see setup and tear down is the name of the fixture method here. Okay. Since I specified this name here, this fixture code that is set up and tear down code is running before and after every test method in each and every test method of this Python files. But what if I remove this name of this fixture method, okay? That is there in the conference.py file. If I remove the name of this uh, method, that is fixture method, will the setup and tear down code will run for each and every test method here? It will not run, okay? That's not going to happen. If you remove this, the setup and tear down code will not run before and ever after every test method. I'll, I'll prove that to you first. I'll go to the terminal. I'll just clear it out and type by test type on VS and I'll give the package name under which this uh, three Python files are available having the test methods. And when this test methods run, this fixture is not going to run. That is set up and tear down code is not going to run before and after this test methods now because I removed the, myth, the fixture method name from this test methods. Okay. So here, let me give the package name under which this uh, Python files are available. So I'll give sample package and press enter, all the six tests will run, but you see, you see the setup and tear down code has not been run. So none of the test methods, for none of the test methods, the setup and tear down code is not run. You see, if it has run, it would have printed launch browser, open application URL, then it would have printed testing kind of thing for each and every test method. But here you see for every test method, the setup and tear down code has not run because from this test methods, I have removed the name of the fixture method, okay? So is there any way still after removing the name of the fixture method from this individual test methods inside this uh, Python files, this uh, setup and tear down code will still run? Yes, that is possible. When you specify, when you go to this fixture method and uh, and here in beside this, uh, inside this fixture uh, circular brackets, if you specify auto use is equal to true, then you don't have to mention the name of the fixture method here. Automatically, the setup and tear down code will run for each and every test method now. I don't have to specify the name of the fixture in each and every test method inside this Python files when I specify this attribute auto use is equal to true. When this is specified inside the fixture, then there is no need of specifying the name of the fixture method inside this test methods of this Python file. Now, since I provided this attribute auto use is equal to true inside this fixture method, now let me run without providing the name of this fixture method inside this test methods of this Python files. And it should be able to run the setup code and tear down code before and after every test method of this Python files now. Okay. So I have to say clear actually. And now write pytest hyphen vs and name of the package under which these Python files are available sample package and press enter. You see all the six test methods got run and uh, before and after every test method here, before and after every uh, test method here, you see the setup method has a uh, setup code from the fixture has been run and test, uh, test method has run and tear down code. 
before and after every test method, the setup and uh, tear down code has been run this time. You can see that for all the six test methods in uh, these three Python files, okay? So even though I didn't specify the name of the fixture method in this uh, test methods of these Python files, okay, still the setup and tear down code has been executed because of this attribute specifying, okay? Because we specified this attribute auto is equal to true. We don't have to specify the name of the, okay, fixture method in, in the individual test methods of the Python files. So hope guys you understood uh, what is the purpose of using this auto use attribute in PyTest picture in this session. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.